On this episode of Harissa That, we're going to make fennel, carrot, carrot, fennel soup. Ferret? Ferret. <laughs> okay. On this episode of Harissa That, we're going to make. On this episode of Harissa That, we're going to make carrot and fennel soup with Harissa. We will add olive oil. We're going to infuse the oil with half a teaspoon coriander seeds and a heap tablespoon of harissa. A new jar, can you see? Just fresh, baby, fresh. Basically, we're going to let the harissa and the coriander seeds infuse the oil. The harissa has other spices, like I said before, it has cumin, it has coriander, chili, the garlic, everything is going to infuse the oil. So we'll let them infuse, baby. Once the harissa and the coriander seeds start giving, you know, releasing their aroma, those oils, that's it, that's all you need. That takes maybe a minute. So we're going to add the onions. I have here one medium onion that I sliced. Let the onions soften. So once the onions start to soften a little bit, add uh, two cloves of garlic sliced. And when you have a recipe with few ingredients, you want to make sure that every step is right to get the best of the flavors. Season as we go. So just a little bit, a small pinch of salt is going to help the garlic, sorry, the onions release the water and soften more and get flavor and a little bit, just a little bit of freshly ground pepper. Okay. That smells amazing. Smells so good. Okay, so the onions are softened and now for the other ingredients which are, it's a carrot and fennel soup. So we have <laughs> about three medium sized uh, carrots that I sliced, cut and sliced and one bulb of fennel that are also sliced thinly Ooh, into smaller pieces. So we're going to add those in there. Stir them with the onions and the harissa. I want them to soak all that goodness from the harissa. Again, like I said, season as you go. So just a little bit of salt, freshly ground pepper. Remember what I said earlier about having, making sure that every step is right when you're making something this simple. I'm not going to add the stock yet. What I'm going to do is let these vegetables brown just a little bit, just to get that depth, you know, the flavor makes it more complex and woohoo, amazing. To cover it with vegetable stock, if you don't mind, you can use chicken stock. So that was about one quart, four cups of vegetable stock. You just want enough to cover it, let it come to a boil, and then we're gonna let it simmer for about 25 minutes, 30 minutes until all the vegetables soften. And that's it, we move on to the last part. And that's it. All the vegetables have softened and the, the soup is ready. We're going to blend it. I'm going to use my blender, but if you have a immersion blender, you can use that as well. Only fill it halfway. Remove the top to just to make sure we don't have an explosion in here. Cover it with a towel and blend away. Taste it. Hmm, doesn't need anything. Just make sure that the consistency is what consistency <laughs> consistency is what you like. If you need it thinner and you would like it a little slightly thinner, you can add a little bit of stock, but I am happy with that. Some fennel seeds and it's taste time. Ooh, look at that. So pretty. 
Mm. Wow, it's really good. Taste the fennel first, carrot, so creamy. The harissa adds a little bit of smokiness and just perfect balanced heat. The sweetness from the carrot balances the smokiness and balances the heat from the harissa. I think we have here a winter soup. We have a winter soup. Winter, winter soup. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this and I hope to see you soon in another episode. Bye.